Anna, thanks. And with that light snow on the way and the continuing frigid temperatures, we turn to conditions on the streets of Springfield. It's an ongoing concern for some residents. Western Mass News reporter Olivia Hickey has the story. Western Mass News viewers continue to express their concerns about icy road conditions in Springfield. Our crews stopped in neighborhoods across the city earlier Thursday and Thursday evening and saw very similar scenes. One man who is newer to New England's winters says he thinks the roads are slippery, but overall not too bad. I guess it all depends on the car you, you're driving on, but yeah, and if your tires are good. Adding he hasn't seen any accidents. Still got to be careful and you really got to be slow. Meantime on Ashley Street, Laura Anderson recalls her daughter's car sliding in front of her house. She said I wasn't even going no more than about 10 miles an hour. She said my car just went sliding on the ice. And she said, I couldn't control it because there was another car behind me that was doing the same thing. Then there was a third car doing the same thing. And she said, I almost ended up in the street. Yeah. And she said, thank God that she didn't get hurt. She tells Western Mass News her daughter contacted the city and our newsroom for help. While it appears sand was added, the road did not seem clear of snow where cars were parked. The Springfield DPW says people not following parking bans is a challenge presented annually. But Anderson says for some residents, the road is the only place for their cars to go. My landlord doesn't want anybody to park in the um, parking lot unless they have a sticker on their car. So they have to park on the street. Springfield DPW Deputy Director Steve Beam says the department doesn't have the ability to salt and sand every side street, explaining they're responsible for clearing over 1,000 lane miles and hundreds of residential streets. But they do take care of residential streets by request. If anyone has any issues with their road, they are asked to call 311 and a DPW truck will be sent as soon as possible. Reporting for Western Mass News, I'm Olivia Hickey.